I'm not lost, but I don't know where I am either. Because basically, there was fork back there, but I'm heading down more. Because there's various ways I could go. I could go up Bro Barrow Fort this way round. Um, but I'm, I haven't really decided if I'm either going to go to the fort yet. But this is the woods. And they're not all pines, as you can see. These are ordinary trees. There's an avenue of... Well, I don't know what you call these. I mean, one time I probably would have thought they were elms. And they could be. Or they might be beech. Could be beech trees, actually, these. Avenue of beech. I must keep meaning to get um, a book out on Row Barrow Warren because I got a feeling this was all mining round here. They put these trees in afterwards. Row Barrow was a huge mining. But of course it did have the Iron Age Fort as well, don't forget. But it's good to do this track because I know this one takes you up around the corner up that way. This is like the spine, if you like, going through the middle of it with various tracks leading off. But I wanted to go down through the middle. But there's still that one, that diagonal one that um, I reckon I'll probably bump into down the bottom here. This is a bit like a junction point down here. But like I say, this is the main spine going through. And then there's lots of tracks like that there. See? Lots of little tracks. They'll all take you down to the stream in the end that runs down the bottom. Which I've sort of half thought about doing. I've done it last year. There's no... I don't... I wouldn't be able to do... I wouldn't be able to have this leisurely approach if I was using the bus today. I wouldn't be able to do half of what I've got planned if I had to think about bus. Because that um, accelerates the whole process. Because you have to do everything within a certain time. You can't sort of do any diversions or, um, you know, it changes everything. Yeah, it's a big wood though, isn't it? A plantation. There's evidence of a wall that ran along there one day once. See, this is, like I said, this, this wood has got a history, um, a mining history, and further back in time before that there would have been something going on here. So coming out into the open in a minute, where we'll find, um, well obviously, um, a junction. Of course, there's schools going around. They, they'd know. They'd have all the uh, geology maps and um, agriculture, industrial information about this area. Teaching students, you know, all about the Mendips and its geology and geography and history. Everything like that. There's so much information on your own doorstep. You know, there's always a different route. I mean, I've not been up this track before. I haven't been on this track, this one here. You know, so I'm still exploring this huge... It's not huge, but there's lots of... Um, you can't get bored here. I mean, look at me just walking down through here. I can see the sea. I can see wells, W-A-L-E-S. And I know that this will probably either curl around like that, eventually, and take me on a route down where you can cross over a stream to go to the villages of Shipham and Rowbarrow if you want to. Which I haven't decided to do. There's also Rowbarrow Church, which I have visited several times. It is never open. And of course, Barbara in Canada... According to the work I've done, are 
connected to this area and he moved to Weston I suppose when the lead mining industry and whatever else was going on collapsed uh, a lot of them went to work in Weston in the quarry and the railways so here we go walking down a lovely country lane on a beautiful day in the summer of July 14th 2016 I'm just doing the videos slightly longer in a way so that you get a proper idea of uh, I can see someone on a bike now there's lots of cyclists around here lots of cyclists they keep popping up the same ones they're going round and round that's a bloke and probably a woman will come out in a minute I've seen two couples already right then over and out for a minute beautiful day I'm so blessed <laughs> 